Okay, back up. Stay. Okay, boys. It's time for school. <laughs> Tumble you. It's school time. Hi guys, it's Hannah with Share the Happy again and my boy Tumbleweed, yes. We are going to be doing a little school kind of thing. Tumbleweed's here, present for school. Right, Tumbleweed, sit. Okay, so I wanted to tell you a little bit about um, the Chincoteague Pony Breed, which is what Minkai is, and also about the Feather Fund, the nonprofit organization that awarded my pony Min to me. So, <clears throat> Let's get started. Oops. So, Shinkity Pony, it's spelled. Whoops. Don't mind the crash. It is a feral breed of horse that lives wild on the island of Assateague, off the coast of Maryland and Virginia. You know what, it might take me a lot less time to do this than to just talk. Yes. So yeah, let's try this again. Um, a Chincoteague Pony, a feral breed of horse, lives wild on Assateague Island, Virginia, off the coast of... Oof. Chincoteague Pony. It is a wild breed of horse that was born wild. <laughs> uh, no, that's not right. Chincoteague Pony is a feral breed of horse that runs wild on the island of Assateague off the coast of Maryland and Virginia. It's kind of a mystery how they got to the islands. There's all these theories which are really cool to research for yourself, but my favorite of which is the idea that they um, arrived on the island due to a shipwreck. That in part is probably true, along with some other kind of, you know, less fascinating and adventurous sounding things. However they got to be there, they're just the awesomest ever. They were first made famous in the 1940s by Marguerite Henry who wrote this book, Misty of Chincoteague. That book has made countless people fall in love with the breed over the years. They're just really um, unusual and really smart and very... Uh, it's kind of hard to explain. Well my mom describes having Minkai around as life with Clifford the Big Red Dog. So, if that gives you an idea. It's never boring and it's very, uh, it's a lot of fun. In the book Misty of Chincoteague, it is described the pony penning event, which is where the people on Chincoteague Island go over to the neighboring island of Assateague and they round up all the ponies and they swim them across the short channel from Assateague Island to Chincoteague Island. There they auction off the foals to the public, and this money is used to support the Chincoteague Volunteer Fire Company, as well as to, it just helps to keep the numbers of pony down. The numbers of pony down! The numbers of ponies! Numbers of ponies? The number of, the number of ponies! <laughs> ponies down to a healthy level, because to prevent overgrazing and all that stuff. So that is how I ended up with Min, is through the pony penning auction. How I actually came to get... Why can I not talk clearly? I would really like to know the answer to that question. It was the nonprofit organization, the Feather Fund, who helped me to get my pony Min. The Chincoteague ponies are sometimes really expensive at the auction. It's kind of an out of, out of reach dream for a lot of kids. So the Feather Fund, they have created this nonprofit organization to help kids be able to, um, to help kids, to help kids, yes they have, to help kids get a pony <laughs> when they otherwise couldn't. That's right, that's what their mission is. And an excellent book to learn about both the Chincoteague Pony and the Feather Fund is this one, Out of the Sea, Today's Chincoteague Pony by Lois Szymanski. And it is one of my favorite books ever, and um, I can guarantee you're going to love it. Let me tell you just really quick here a little bit about the application process. First things first, you need to be between the ages of 10 and 18. You also need to have parental or guardian permission. You need to have an appropriate place to keep a horse, a foal, because it will be a baby when you get it. And you need to have a certain amount of horse experience, as well as say, as have, have, as well as have, I'm, sorry, I'm not mad at you, I'm mad at my brain, as well as have had a save, <laughs> no. 
as well as have had no. <laughs> Is that right? I don't think it's right. One more time. With feeling. As well as have had saved. <laughs> Please help me, okay? I've gone a little bit nutty. He's thinking what's new. So, as well as have saved, is that it? I don't know, whatever, well, let's just move on. A certain amount of money toward a pony. Basically, it just needs to be money that you've earned yourself or it has been given to you as a gift for your birthday or whatever. It doesn't matter how you get it as long as you're not going out and stealing kids lunch money or something like that. No stealing money! As long as it's like honestly come by then you can use it as your pony fund. The coolest thing I think about this is that the money it doesn't go toward getting your pony at the auction. If you win you donate it to the feather fund and it helps a kid the next year get a pony which I think is a wonderful idea. It's kind of the idea of paying it forward. And oh the one of the coolest parts about the application process, well, rather the hardest part, is um, the essay. So you write an essay describing why you want a Shinkatique pony and why it is your goal to have one and what has brought you to this place where this is your goal. I applied two years in a row, so that's a common question, like, you know, can I apply more than once? Yes, there's some kids that have applied every year for like four and five years in a row. I applied two years in a row, once when I was uh, 17 and once when I was 18, and I turned 19 like a week after I got Minkai. It was a close call for me, <laughs> so I was really thankful I had not been born a week more premature than I already was. Yes, I was pre born premature. Yeah, not too much, just a little. <laughs> Doesn't that explain a lot? So, okay, uh, whatever, who cares about that? Um, so, there's a little bit about the Feather Fund, and to learn more about that, you can go to the Feather Fund's website at www.featherfund.com. Is that it? Feather Fund. Yes! www.featherfund.net And you can also visit us on Facebook. Uh-huh. Sit. <coughs> Wee! Good boy. <laughs> we are going on an adventure! Come on!